All right, Shalom. I'm going to give a call. Lord, you how about Shimei Oshai? This is uh, Yazo Adara or Shemai Wan. All right, whatever you like to call me. Um, and uh, the reason I'm doing this this live stream is because, you know, we got a lot of brothers who claim to be in the truth, um, but still lack, um, you know, still lack charity, right? So, so as I'm uh, just looking through some comments and things, you know, one of my main issues is, you know, Yahweh Shai stressed that, you know what I'm saying, or whatever you want to call him, Yeshua stressed the, the importance of working on your inner man, your spirit, you know what I'm saying. Uh, that's why James 5 and 5 says what? A carnal mind is enmity with the most high. And as I see when brothers start to disagree in Israel, uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of butting heads, right? Uh, 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 there's a lot of name calling and insults, right? So I'm trying to understand if, if, how is that charity if you can't even respectfully disagree, you know what I'm saying? Not everyone in these scriptures, you know, um, and, and uh, even just dealing with Moses and the 70 elders, they were not always on the same page, but they understood they had to come to a final resolution, you know. And, and you know, even sometimes with the, uh, the uh, uh, you call them the 12 apostles or 12 disciples, they were not all on the same page at times, you know what I'm saying, but they still had to come to a resolution. Um, and of course, you know, getting to supplications and prayer um, will also help in those certain areas. Uh, well, I'm going to speak on charity because I feel like it's, it's, it's lacking in Israel, you know. And with charity, you know what I'm saying, there comes the respect, there comes the compassion, you know. Um, there comes the spirit of servitude, you know what I'm saying, because, we, you know, we're, we're just vessels, you know what I'm saying. And we're blessed to, for the most high to call us into this truth. And I think, you know, brothers and sisters forget that blessing. So, uh. Right now, I'm going to go to Acts 20 and 35, and it reads, I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of Adawan Yahushai. He said, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. You know what I'm saying? So, our service to our people is, is, is the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it means everything, you know. Uh, and that's why the Most High always stresses the poor, giving to the poor. You know what I'm saying? Because that will keep you in the spirit of giving. Because that's also in the law of the, the poor will never cease from the land. You know what I'm saying? It keeps you kind of in a, in a sense of level-headed. You know, show want to the people coming in. Um, so I'm, let me read that again. It says, I have showed you all things. How thou so laboring, ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of Mashiach Yahushai. How he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So it's more blessed to give than receive, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why the scripture speaks about uh, the greatest among you shall be your servant. So when you understand you being a leader in Israel, you're supposed to be the greatest servant because you're serving the rest of your, your group. You know what I'm saying? And in that service, you're edifying the rest of Israel. You're serving the rest of Israel. So God got to watch their spirit, man. The most High speaks about temperance. God is really need to control that spirit. If I disagree with you, learn to agree to disagree and leave it at that. Because Paul said what? Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. He ain't going to see it like you. You know what I'm saying? Guys have different ways of learning. Guys catch things on different times. We didn't all wake up at the same time. We didn't all wake up the same way. It was, it was, diff it was different, you know, different uh, journeys coming into this thing. It's different perspectives, different lifestyles. Let me get this. Second Corinthians.
9 and 7. Every man, according to he, he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for Yahweh loveth a cheerful giver. So Yahweh loves a cheerful giver. You know what I'm saying? These scriptures are, are, are self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? I'm just repeating what exactly what it says. You know? So you have to do a, a willingness. You know what I'm saying? That's why Paul speaks about what? Paul spoke about, you know, uh, 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 I believe in the Thessalonians. I'm paraphrasing. It's a... Uh, it's a, it's like a, it's a gift from the Most High to be able to love your brother, and that's why Yahusha repeated what to love the Lord, you know, with uh, you know, with uh, all our mind, you know, all our heart, so forth and so forth, and to love thy neighbor as thyself. You have to repeat. These are two things that were repeated for a particular reason. Why? Because, hey, this is what Israel struggles with the most. We don't love each other, so therefore we have all this division. You know what I'm saying? If we come to a, a consensus that, uh, hey, we got to get this together. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm i still trying to figure out, you know, what, what, you, what, one of you brothers have been to the summits, right? I'm trying to figure out, you know, I've been to the Mac Passover, right? I'm trying to figure out what is being discussed, you know, to, to bring a togetherness. You know what I'm saying? Because from my understanding, both councils come from the same, you know, school of thought. So where, why, why is there so much division? You know what I'm saying? We believe the same Torah, correct? So I, I, stuff like that doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Come from the same school of thought. I teach basically the same thing. There's only a couple doctrinal differences, and the, the, the doctrinal differences really have nothing to do with salvation. Oh, he can't wear hair coverings. Okay. He can't wear hair coverings. Agree to disagree. I didn't think that was a, a huge deal. Someone having multiple wives. I don't think that should be anybody's concern. I think that has to do more like the man, the man's concern, and what he can, you know, bring to, uh, 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 what he can bring to, uh, you know, what, how, how much, you know, resources he has. That's all up to him, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that's really anybody's business who some of marriage and all that type of stuff. Um, we do have a custom with dealing with marriage and everything. But uh, as regards to that marriage stuff, I don't, I don't think that really needs to be discussed. And that's anybody's business of who some of marriage and in that sense is. Uh, like I said, Yahweh loves a chair forgiver, man. Um, my next scripture is Proverbs. Proverbs 19 and 17. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto Yahweh, and that which he hath given, given will he pay him again. You know what I'm saying? So how does Yahweh, you know, pay those who are, 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 are showing charity or are giving to the poor, you know what I'm saying, by blessing them, whether it be physical or, you know, saving it up, you know, uh, uh, or storing your riches in heaven, you know what I'm saying, which is the ultimate gift, you know, or eternal, giving you eternal life, you know what I'm saying, for your good deeds. So, I mean, it's different things. You have uh, Proverbs 21 and 13. Whosoever stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he shall also cry himself, but shall not be heard. Because what? You don't have charity. You don't have pity. I remember when I first came into the truth, there was a couple of people in uh, housing uh, facilities that were in particular camps. Um, that really kind of was interesting because that bugged my spirit a lot when I seen something like that. Uh, I was trying to figure out if he's part of your particular camp, why is he in that state of struggle? You know what I'm saying? And Proverbs also speaks about, you know, no greater love than a man who lays his life down for a friend. Here, we're, we're saying we're brothers and sisters, right? We're Israel, we're all one, right? 
But we sure aren't acting like it. Next one is uh, 1 John. 1 John 3 and 17. But whosoever hath this world's good and see if his brother hath need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yahweh in him? So how do you have the love of of, 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 Mash, of uh, Yahweh if you can't even give to your brother when you are at a, at a good, you know, state in this world? You know what I'm saying? You got a good, decent job, good paying job. You got money, extra money left over. You know, you give that to your brother. You know what I'm saying? A person in need. Um, and... and Regarding the money issues in Israel, you know, Israel just got terrible spending habits. And I think the money needs to be invested into a certain fund. So when a certain incident happens in Israel, we'll be ready to, you know, to relieve at least a portion of certain expenses that uh, our people are dealing with. Let me read that again. Who, but whosoever have this world's good and see if his brother hath need, and shut up, and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yahweh in him. Because everybody's saying, yeah, I'm in the spirit, you know what I'm saying, when they're out teaching, right? But once a disagreement comes, oh, you're a demon, a scoffer, et cetera, et cetera. We already know the names we call each other, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is not appropriate. I don't, I don't know if y'all know what agree to disagree means. Some of the stuff that's being argued about has nothing to do with salvation. Like, I keep seeing this flat and round earth stuff. Like, 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 please show me where it has anything to do with salvation. I know the shape of the earth was such a, 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 a huge monumental deal. You know, stuff like that. I, I, I'm still just mind boggled by, you know, this... 100 comments on a post, 200 comments, and it's, it's just, it's a lot of envy and strife that's going on. A lot of, you know, contention for no apparent reason that with doctrines that have nothing to do with our salvation. It's not feeding anyone's spirit. It's not edifying nothing. It's just there, you know. Yeah. I'm going to go to, next precept I'm going to go to is Deuteronomy 15, Deuteronomy 15 and, uh, let me see this, Fifteen and 7, and it reads, if there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren with any of thy gates in the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thy hand from thy poor brother, but thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficiently for his need, and which that which he wanteth. Beware that they be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release is at hand, and thy eyes shall be evil against thy poor brother, and thou shalt give of him not. And he cry unto the Lord against thee, and it be a sin unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thy heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him, because thou for this thing, the Lord, thy power shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thy hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt not, thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor and to the needy in thy land. Or simple. Very simple. You know, I don't need to break this down. These, these scriptures break themselves down. 
give to the poor if you got it. You know what I'm saying? We this is speaking about us being in the land. You know what I'm saying? But in this sense, you know what I'm saying the seventh day of release be be what? What you get every year? You'll get that income tax money. You know what I'm saying? Save a percentage for the poor. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah speaks about what? Planting gardens. You know what I'm saying? Getting wives, daughters, and children. You know what I'm saying? That's the importance of, 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 of planting trees and, and building. You know what I'm saying? Constructing for your nation. I got one more scripture. I'm going to get... Uh, this is uh, Sirach 12 and 1. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. So shalt thou be, be thanked for thy benefit. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the Most High. That's the most important thing. When you give to the poor and you have charity... It's about getting blessing from the most high. Because material blessings don't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? And do it for you, man. Because usually, for me, I don't know about everybody else. Usually when I'm giving, you know what I'm saying? Well, usually when I'm feeling bad and I'm just giving something away, you know what I'm saying? That makes my spirit better. You know what I'm saying? That makes me better, you know, in my spirit. So, I mean, do it for you. You know, it it, it, uh, it should make you feel better, you know what I'm saying? Because you made someone else's day better just by that. Verse 3 says, There can be no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Look at this. There can be no good cometh to him that is always occupied in and an evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. So if you're always occupied in evil, what does that mean? If you are in wickedness, and you do not give your alms, you got no blessing, man. That's why it goes back to Acts. It is better to give than to receive. Scripture speaks about... Uh, Leviticus uh, 1917 states, y'all know this one. Leviticus 19 and 17 reads, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So it's always good to correct Correct the behaviors. Our people who's doing wickedness and not giving, hey, you ain't gonna get no blessing. So that's why, brothers who are in the right path, you correct the certain behaviors. That is showing love biblically. Love in the scriptures is not the filly, filly touchy that America teaches. According to the scripture, love is the action. The action of what? Of correction of, and, of, and of showing our people the right way. That is love according to scripture. The next topic I'm going to touch on in my next video is going to be dealing with uh, it's going to be dealing with uh, 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 the difference between Israelite thought and, and, a, and a Gentile form of thinking because we're, we're mixing the two. You know what I'm saying? And they don't, they don't coexist. My last scripture before I end this thing is uh, first, first Peter four and eight. All right, here we go. First Peter four and eight. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So what does that mean? If you have charity, the spirit of compassion, 
You know what I'm saying? A respect unto your people, you know. This covers you, you know what I'm saying? And and, and whatever you uh you do. So if you you're in, uh, uh commit a certain sin, right? And you have charity, you know what I'm saying? You give it to the poor, certain things. It will cover that uh cover that certain sin. So with that, you know, I wasn't going to be long. I'm going to give a call to you. How about Shemel Shah? Show one.